bring you the latest updates on the PNA newsroom. The government remains optimistic that the country will not experience recession as shown by the decreasing unemployment. <laughs> President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. said the country's inflation rate may have hit a 14-year high of 8% in November. But the unemployment rate has eased to 4.5% in October, which is considered as the lowest compared to the same period in 2019. He said this would prevent the economy from further declining. As such, the president renewed his commitment to prioritize job creation in the country. He also assured that the government would continue to find ways to cushion the impact of the rising prices of basic goods and services. Following President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.'s call to decrease other infectious diseases in the country, health experts are now focusing on minimizing tuberculosis cases. In a lagging and a briefing, infectious disease expert Dr. Ron Jean Solante said one way of eradicating TB is by addressing the poverty issues in the country. He said TB is considered as a poverty disease because of the very poor condition and higher infection rate. In a meeting with the president this week, DOH officer in charge Maria Rosario Verjere said they have partnered with the United States Agency for International Development or USAID to intensify their monitoring and surveillance efforts. The Philippines is said to be one of the eight countries that account for more than two-thirds of the global cases of TB. It is easily spread from person to person through air by coughing, sneezing, or spitting. The um, Philippines is still one of the top uh, 10 countries no? contributing 80% of cases uh, TB globally. At ngayon, nakikita na rin natin na ang, ang Pilipinas ay isa sa mga bansa, top 5 countries contributing also multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. At alam natin ang tuberculosis ay matagal na sa Pilipinas at hanggang ngayon, although marami na tayong mga programa sa, mga, sa tuberculosis on the government side, especially yung directly observed treatment uh, 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 natin, ang mga accessible na yung treatment support ng mga pasyenteng uh, TB, but because of poverty, because of the very poor condition ng ating mga kababayan minsan, mataas pa rin ang hawaan ng tuberculosis because for me, it's, I think it's a disease of poverty. No? So hanggang hindi natin matugunan ang poverty, hindi natin matugunan ang mga uh, kailangan natin ipaliwanag sa mga pasyente na mga tao na kailangan muna nilang mag-isolate at tapusin ang treatment para hindi lalaganap ang pagtaas ng drug-resistant TB. The government is inviting Japanese tourists to visit and experience the fully opened Philippines up close. Philippine Embassy in Japan, Charge Affairs Robespierre Bolivar, made the invitation together with a Philippine tourism business delegation that visited Tokyo and Osaka from November 28 to December 4. During the mission, Tourism Under Secretary Sherin Gail Yu Pamintuan unveiled the Department of Tourism's new initiative on safe, sustainable tourism and cultural and heritage promotion. Tourism Promotions Board Chief Operating Officer Maria Margarita Montemayor Nograles particularly invited the Japanese to visit the Philippines during the Christmas season. The government had been doubling efforts to attract more Japanese who had been its fourth top market prior to the pandemic. The DOT said from February to October 2022 alone, some 65,000 Japanese nationals have visited the country. In other news, China's Zhenzhou 14 Taikonauts have finally returned to Earth after a six-month mission in space. Chinese ambassador to the Philippines Wang Xilian posted the update on China's astronauts on his Facebook account as he congratulated them for a successful mission. A capsule carrying Commander Chen Dong and astronauts Liu Yang and Kai Shuze touched down at the Gobi Desert in northern China. During their mission, which started in June, the crew completed the handover with the Shenzhou 15 team in preparation for the final stages of the completion of the Tiangong, China's first ever space station. This meeting saw the first gathering of six taikonauts in space. The Tiangong is part of China's plan to establish a human presence in space. 
that's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Filipinas, RP1. Stay tuned for more news update. I'm Marita Mwahe with our stories that inspire change.